Hello, my ladies. Uh, Mandy here from Essential Beauty with Amanda. I'm here today to help out some of the new gals. I do these videos, videos a lot, so don't get bogged down. If you want some new content, make a comment, send me a message, let me know what more you want to see. I just did an eye tutorial um, and I'll share with you guys later. Um, so I wanted to share with these new ladies what to do when you first get your makeup. So I'm gonna grab myself a palette. I should have been more prepared. I'm never prepared, if, you, if you, anybody knows. I wing everything, so don't be dismayed. All right, so you're gonna get your beautiful package in the mail, and you're gonna get your products. So you probably got a palette. Hopefully you got a brush, and if you didn't, I highly recommend it. I've had some girls that get the product and these are really designed to use with a brush. If I just put this on my face to try and blend that out would take forever and you'd have to use a ton of product. The whole key with this product is that it's this tiny tin that you get that lasts for months if you use it correctly. You should not have to go through more than one of these every couple, two, three months. Okay, so you've got your palette, you've got your tins, and you probably have at least four colors, and you're gonna take your index finger at the top, your thumb on the bottom, and just pull that index finger back. My finger got a little slimy. Just pull it back, just like that, just so easy. Sometimes they lock, but if that happens, um, you can just, just kind of gently pull. So if you feel like it absolutely is not going, some girls will take like a piece of scotch tape or something and pull on the bottom because there's this little, tiny little clasp that we, I think we used to use um, that they've kind of discontinued because it gets tough. Like they're great, but the locking, damned if you do, damned if you don't, right? People would get their packages and these things slide open now. So we're trying to figure out better packaging, but I love these little tins. They're kind of beautiful. I saved them and I made a little project back here. So that'll be fun. All right. So we are going to do a full look with the cheetah hack and I want to take off this makeup so you can see the coverage. Okay. I burned myself a couple of days ago. Dang new curling iron. I did not appreciate the size of this freaking thing. Look at this thing. It's huge. This is like the size of my face and it's hot. I went dunk, literally. Not, I didn't appreciate the size or the weight of it. So I am going to do the cheetah hack and just to keep my hair out of my face because it's wild. I'm just going to pin it back. All right. So we've got here your tin, your compact. Take that, open it up, slide it open, and just set it in your, your tin, right? It's magnetic, so it's gonna stay in there ma automatically for you. And just line them up. Um, if this is backwards, I apologize, but I usually do my lightest, my um, second lightest, and then my darkest color, um, and then a lip and cheek color. So you'll have like your highlight, your brightening highlight, your main color, your contour, and then a, a cheek color. If you've got the 12, which I always recommend the 12, because you can put your um, ka, da, 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 blush bronzer and a second lip cheek if you want it. And you can rearrange this however it works for you. I personally use a 27, which is a little bit bigger. Um, because I'm a little bit extra. I actually use two main highlights. Um, I use a combination between Sandy and Mango for myself. So I'll show you that here. So biggest mistake, easiest thing you can do is use too much product. And that's like the wildest thing. Like no, most people are like, oh, I have to use more to get better coverage. Well, no, we have to have the right colors to get the right coverage. And we have to use the right amount of product for you to look and feel like that natural second skin. So here's my palette. I have my brightening highlight and these are my two main shades. I've got a variety of lip cheek colors and then I have my bronzer and illuminator and this is my contour. This is the 27, so however it fits to work you, it's kind of fun to play it around, play around and rearrange it. But I always recommend putting any powders you have on its own separate level. That's why I always recommend sizing up from that four to the eight or 12, just depending on your makeup use, your preferences, if you want shadows or anything like that, then it's all right here. This is literally all of my makeup. If I have to go on a trip somewhere, this baby comes with me. And then I have spares on the bottom. So this here is our beautiful summer love lip and cheek. I absolutely love this color, as you can see. Um, I didn't touch it until last week, and I am just going through it. I ordered a few for myself, and I've ordered some extras, and I just can't get enough of it. So I'm sorry if this video is outdated by the time you watch it, but that's what it is. So I just have spares. It's just fun stuff that I like to have here. 
get wild. All right, so down to business. I'm going to take my fingers. I have a little bit of lip cheek. I'm just going to wipe that off. Taking my fingers and getting this product on my finger. So I have clean hands, clean face. I have moisturized skin and I'm ready to start. And I'm just literally taking, there's no pressure involved, resting my finger onto that makeup and letting that warmth of my skin transfer color. That's it. You should never have to dig and get that much product. If you do, it's going to be like several spots throughout your face. I'm telling you. So I, like I said, I used two main colors. So I did sandy first. I'm going to do a touch of mango and just kind of put that next to it. You, if you don't use two colors, you're fine. You don't have to. But just with, um, I went to Mexico, I got a lot browner than I normally do. And Sandy just wasn't cutting it for me. I needed a little bit more warmth. So when I tell you to touch your finger and transfer that color, it's literally like your fingerprint. You're going to see your fingerprint. I'll do that with this other color so you can see. That's it. So you can see a little bit of that texture because I melted this down at one point. And that's it. Here's another color so you can see that. That's too much even. Can you believe it? That's too much. I'm gonna do this lighter because it's a little bit warm in this room. You can see my fingerprint. Do you see that? That's how much product. And this is gonna be your brightening highlight. And it's gonna go in one area. And you can see how much more concentrated it is when it goes on my face and how um, I'm only doing it into an area. Okay, so I like to do my main on above my eyebrow. And I do my brightening in that center like we talked about. And then I'll do my contour. <clears throat> so I've got pretty much all of my colors on. I feel like I, oh, I have a little bit of extra redness here. I'm going to put some there. It's fine. So I'm going to take my contour color and go basically temple to temple. Don't worry about getting it like absolutely perfect. If you get up here a little bit fudged, it's fine. I have kind of a bit of product, so I'm just kind of moving it around. I it, my, my house is not normally as warm as this. My husband likes to keep the thermostat at 74 in the summertime because he's trying to save energy. And in the wintertime, I love it cool. So I'm used to like 66 to 68. So 74 to me is like a scorcher. I'm just dying. Like to sleep last night, I was really struggling. I like to put some contour underneath my bottom lip because I really feel that that draws that out. When you're putting contour on, you're basically enhancing shadows or creating shadows to create dimension on your face. So this is going to really kind of draw out the cheekbone. So it gives me more of a sculpted look on my face. It's going to help my jawline appear sharper. So it looks like it's more defined and I maybe don't have as much flub. Um, and it just helps kind of draw out those features and really tone look your skin. All right. One other place that is fun to contour is your nose. And you can do this to help kind of shape and slim down your nose to help everything else kind of come together cohesively. Um, and now we'll blend. So again, I'm using a brush of choice. This is my 3D brush. Um, they changed the look of them. They're a little bit different, um, but I still love them. And I can use this one just to show you. So I like to have it a little bit dirty, a little bit of product on there. And I'm going to blend. So I just kind of take and tap and move that product around. And it's going to easily blend into my skin. If you have really textured skin, I recommend like a tapping motion to kind of um, press that makeup into your skin and move that around. And look how wonderful it covers in that whole area. It's seamless. It blends really, really nicely. And your skin just looks nice and healthy with this beautiful glow. So that's one side. I'm just going to do the other with my typical motion. And if I need to stipple a little, I will. And there we have it. Okay. I always start with the lightest colors first. I save my contour basically for last. And I'll even um, put my lip cheek color on at the very end for my cheek color. And I just kind of fan that out in the center. I already did my eyebrows. So I'm just kind of being mindful of working around them and blending those colors together. Jawline, bring it all the way up to your ear. And if you feel like you need just a touch more coverage, then just grab, when you go directly into your product with your brush, I cannot stress this enough, press and transfer that little bit of skin because that is all you need, my friends. And I'm just kind of following the shapes that I'm creating. I like to kind of go up Whenever I'm going on my face, that's going to help 
lift and tone and look of that skin. If you have lots of fluid in your skin, um, that swelling edema, lifting it up is going to help draw that out. So as you can see here, I've got my beautiful little friend, the um, burn marks from the other day. I'm just going directly into my color and I'm gonna go over that. And that's gonna help kind of neutralize it and you can barely see it. I'm not too worried about it. It's still fresh. I'm not gonna go wild on it. All right, so there we go. Contour, last thing. All I'll do is just kind of blur out that line, soften it out, and then on my cheekbones, I kind of flip it up so it raises and lifts. If you feel like you need to clean it up a little bit with some other color, I'll show you that. And then my neck or jawline, I soften that out and then I bring it down. Starting underneath my ear, bringing it straight down so it kind of creates that tone and then underneath and bring it into your neck. So you should not have any defined line. Same thing over here. And you don't need much. You do not need very much at all. I This is probably one of my original contour. I do not use very much product at all when I use it. Um, and I do my makeup just about every single day. Okay. And then forehead, same thing. Temple to temple. I just kind of run, run along that color and pick that up. I'll first bring it into my hairline to kind of sweep that in. There is no makeup line. And then I'm gonna take it and just kind of make like a rainbow shape where I'm softening, but I'm going up a little bit higher to bring that. So this brightness is still there. So I'm just kind of softening that line. There's no rough edge. And now I'm gonna bring that brightened color into that contour. My nose is one of the last things. I'm just kind of stippling or pressing to soften that. And then I just tap on the top to kind of soften that brightening color. It does not look like I have color. It's just bringing out the light and the shape of my face. Last step, this perfector sponge is absolutely key, especially if you worry about having too much product. It's wet. I wet it out. There's no water in it. I've squeezed out all the water into a washcloth even. So all it does is feel cool and a little bit damp on my skin. Just bouncing that will help pick up any excess. It will remove any out of your fine lines that you might have around your eyes, especially. You can get right up in there and just bounce and grab that. I usually have like problems with dead skin here where I need to exfoliate better. Um, and this will help pick that up off of there. Chin where I have a little crease there. All the way up. Beautiful. If you feel like you need to get into your neckline, go for it. Okay, and that's it. All that excess product off. Um, now I'm gonna put on my lip cheek color and I am gonna do Tropicana because it's gorgeous in the summer. Just a very light peachy color, very simple. It's kind of like, a, it's a, I think it's a gloss. Um, it's buildable, so if you want more of that orangey peachy to come through, you can keep building. And then I'm going to do my bronzer. There we go. Bronzer is key to life. It just helps me get through every day, I believe. And it kind of brings everything together. All of these steps are not necessary, but um, if you want to build up your um, collection, this is a great, great tool to have in your box. Um, I love the, the uh, blush bronzer collection. And you can get this this blush bronzer brush. It's actually this style now. The white, which is gorgeous. And I mean, it is white, but it does get clean. This is not a clean brush. This is a clean brush. <laughs> I have so many brushes. Um, so just to show the difference, like I've cleaned this brush and this one I've not. Um, so, okay. So I take the big end of that nice and floofy and I go and I kind of just jam in some of that color and just dust it onto the outer parts of my forehead and just kind of blends it super easily down my jaw, down my neck, and it just kind of warms you up a little bit, brings it all together. If you feel like you need a little on your chin or your nose, have at it. All right, and that's Bella bronzer that I used. I had this Bella bronzer forever. It's the best thing in the world. All right, so that's that. So I hope you guys um, love it. And if you have questions, want some troubleshooting tips, let me know. I am always here for you. I will upload this to my YouTube channel as well. So play back anytime um, and it's there for you. So you guys have a fantastic day. Take care.